my channel long time no see i've been off for a week and it literally feels like i've been out for two decades but i'm back and if you didn't know i was in the dominican republic i was doing a destination wedding it was kind of a last minute so if you follow me on instagram you would have seen my bride i put it in my story highlights if you want to go check it out i did vlog a little so that vlog's gonna go up after this video so today i really just want to put some makeup on and i have some new products that i've been dying to try out it's not an overwhelmingly amount of new products but i have a new foundation that i've been hesitant to try it's the nars foundation because i i have a feeling i'm gonna break out from this but i had a photo shoot last week and i was like you know what i'm not gonna risk it even though i am breaking out a little bit i figured let me wait till after the photo shoot to do this video so i have the new amrezi highlight i haven't even opened this so you guys are gonna get my first reaction and just a couple of new goodies that i just have been dying to try so let's go ahead and get started let's get ready so i have already filled in my eyebrows and i also put concealer on my lids now my eyelids are pretty swollen so today we're not doing anything crazy on the eyes so I've come to realize that I'm not only allergic to lash glue I'm allergic to eyeliner and if you know me and you've been watching me for a while you know that liquid liner is my life like a wing liner is me I feel like that's just my identity no wing liner no Rosita but my eyes are just not taking it so I have to go out and buy the physicians formula eyeliner that I used to use that one's hyperallergenic I've tried some hyperallergenic like sensitive eye ones from Sephora and they all just swell up my eyes so I'm first going to apply the MAC strobe cream and I'm applying this with a MAC 159 and I'm just going to apply this all over I feel like I've been gone for a while but at the same time it's like the way that social media is right now with snapchat and Instagram and just there's like this new app called like Vero or something like that I don't even know like do you guys have that app should I get one there's just so much going on I feel like with social media that it was okay to take a break because I feel like people are just over it they're over YouTube I'm upset at YouTube right now basically what happened with my channel is I was signed to an MCN which is a YouTube partner program which was Univision my contract ended and I wanted to just take the time to just have my channel back to being mine but the thing is I don't know if you guys are aware but YouTube is rolling out this thing where if you don't have a certain amount of subscribers or views, you're not able to monetize your videos. Now, I meet that. Like, I'm good in that sense. Like, I do meet the number of hours and subscribers. So it's not that I don't meet the requirements. It's that because YouTube is getting flooded right now with applications for people to try to get partnered, which I completely understand. My channel right now is kind of like under review because there's so many applications going in. So I reached out to someone and I'm waiting for an application Answer, but I'm still filming videos even though I'm not getting paid for them right now like this is my full-time job but I'm not gonna just leave you guys hanging because I'm not getting paid like that's just not cool but it's also not cool that YouTube is doing that because they're just taking a long time with everyone's application so I'm just waiting here patiently I never really start off with foundation but I kind of want to today so again I'm trying the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I've actually used this on my clients and I love it on my clients it looks so good it lasts so long but I have I haven't tried it on myself and I'm gonna first try the shade Punjab which is what they matched me to but like I said I was in Punta Cana I didn't really tan my face but today is Dominican Independence Day so if you're Dominican happy Dominican Independence Day I feel like this is my normal color I have this shade which is Barcelona I think I'm gonna put one pump of this usually I do break out with NARS foundations and I don't know why it doesn't have fragrance but it's just something in the ingredients but NARS is one of those brands that I trust in my kit like I always use it on my clients because the shades are always perfect like they never let me down when it comes to a shade range and undertones but not only that it's like the finish is always so pretty okay so those two colors match really nicely together for my skin right now I'm just like you know what if I break out I break out I really just want to test it out but maybe I won't break out from this formula I have broken out from sheer glow puffins wife here on YouTube she breaks out from NARS foundations too so I feel like me and her have really similar skin where it's like very sensitive dry and oily and like temperamental you know what I mean and she's so awesome you guys have to check out her channel and she does a lot of like high-end makeup reviews but I feel like she does reviews that no one else is doing so she's on top of the products wow this looks amazing I will I'm not surprised because I've tried it on other people so it's kind of cheating but when you see it on yourself you're like wow mind you my skin right now is 
a hot mess because when you're traveling and you're away, like I was in the sun and even though I was putting SPF, the water situation in DR, like if you're not from there, you could get sick. So you have to depend on water bottles and sometimes like the hotel would run out and you'd have to wait for them to replenish it. So like I wasn't drinking that much water, which is really bad. But sometimes if you drink like the tap water, you could get sick. Not everyone gets sick, but knowing me, I would because I'm so sensitive. So I didn't want to risk it. So yeah, it was just a combination of like dehydration, being in the sun. The one full day that I got to um, hang out in DR, like without work, the day before the wedding, it was raining like nonstop. I'm like, really? Really? And then when I'm leaving, the day that I'm leaving, it was so sunny and so hot. So that's when I actually got color, like the last day on the way to the airport. It's strange because it looks like I have some radiance to my skin, but it also doesn't look too dewy, like it doesn't look shiny or oily. I feel like it's sheer glow, all day luminous mixed together, but it's a matte in certain areas, but I just feel like my face still has some like life to it. It has some luminosity. With foundations, you kind of have to see like after you've set your face and done concealer and bronzer and blush, like I feel like it takes a while for it to really settle in. And with some foundations, they get better over time, with some they get worse. So I feel like with NARS, they get better over time so we're just gonna let that rock for a little so this product isn't new but it's new to me this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer it says it has 24 hour wear and it's camouflage so we are trying new concealers like when you're so used to using like the one you know you love this is in moderately fair and it's 100% fragrance free allergy tested and ophthalmologist tested which is all good things for me it's blending in really nicely that seems very hydrating it's kind of like my skin tone. It's kind of, kind of crazy. So this is definitely more like a dewy concealer. Like it's not a really matte thick one. I'm just going to brighten this up. The Clinique one was really nice. I just have to look for the other shade that I have that's lighter. That one was more of like a spot conceal shade for me. Where I like to go pretty... Oh, I forgot to use... I completely forgot to use this Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. It was just over there and I didn't see it. So I couldn't use it, but... I'll just try that out on my own and let you guys know. But I am going to try the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. This reminds me of the Laura Mercier one a lot. Like the size of it. And I've heard they're very similar. With these kind of setting powders, like the Under Eye Brightening Powders, they're primarily not supposed to be used in flash photography because they'll flash back. Well, like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder will. But today I'm not going out to the club or anything. Like I'm not going to be out taking flash pictures. I do like use flash on Snapchat and stuff like that but usually you don't get that flashback unless it's severe unless you're taking like an actual flash picture so I'm just going to set my under eye with this I have a lot of creasing under my eyes right now due to lack of sleep so I'm not sure if it's really brightening my under eye but it is setting it really nicely <coughs> oh I'm eating it so I don't notice any brightening from that I just feel like it set my under eye and my under eyes are extremely tired right now so I should have used this anti-fatigue under eye primer I feel like this really would have helped the situation that I have under my eyes I don't know if it has to do with the planet arrangements right now but I just feel like everyone's going through it so my sleep patterns haven't really been good so my under eyes look a little crazy but I'm not gonna blame the makeup it's just my skin right now my foundation is a little sticky but it almost looks like I don't have to set it but I will because it's sticky and I know that it'll come off if I don't set it but I'm gonna set it very lightly but I am loving how it looks right now it looks really natural to me and it doesn't feel really heavy which I really like it's important for me but the coverage is also really really nice even down my skin tone this color is perfect Punjab mixed in with the Barcelona right now is like a perfect shade match for my eyes I'm gonna keep it neutral I'm gonna take this Smashbox photo edit eyeshadow trio in nudie pick deep and I'm gonna take the first shade which is lacy Sunday I'm gonna take it on a Mac 286 which I love for eyeshadow it's like this dual fiber eye brush you could also use it for concealer I think it's meant for concealer but I really like it for the eyes and I'm kind of being messy with it like I'm not being super precise but you can just see it just gives your eyes something like it just doesn't look so plain I'm gonna take the orange in this palette this little trio right over here which is called in the mood and I'm just going to apply this right underneath that shade with that same brush again not too precise just to add some color and some warmth to my eyes I'm gonna go back in with that nudie shade and just blend this out a little bit so I'm using the Beauty by Rosita blending brush which is my brush and we are actually working on something I'm not gonna say much but just know that we're working on something that's really exciting and it has to do with this brush just stay tuned for that 
you know it's nice out when the ice cream truck is out in New York. So I'm gonna take that dark brown in this palette and I just wet my brush, an angled brush. And this is kind of like the trick that I've been doing for my eyeliner because I can't really wear eyeliner right now, is just wetting the shadow and using it kind of like a gel liquid liner kind of situation. And I just line my eyes. I feel like my eyes are the type that benefit from a line. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking, line my eyes, and then we will apply some lashes. I feel like it makes a huge difference when I put lashes on if I have this line. I know it seems silly and it's like so simple, but I just feel like it also makes applying lashes so much easier because for some reason lashes don't ever want to just stick onto my skin. Now we're going to do Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I've actually tried this out. I was talking about it on Snapchat and I was showing you like before and afters on my lashes. Now I have pretty long lashes. Despite having eyelash extensions, they grew back. I do want to buy the new lash. I think it's from Nordstrom. I tried the Brande lash, but it irritated me right away. So I couldn't use that. But my lashes lately have been really thin. So this mascara really doesn't help as far as thickening them up. But it does really lengthen them. And a lot of people aren't liking this formula because it's a lot more runny. It's like a liquidier. Is that a word? It's a more runny formula. So... A lot of people are used to a drier formula. If you like Too Faced Better Than Sex or even like the Benefit Roller Lash, like those are drier formulas where this one is a little bit more messy, but I feel like it really, really lengthens. So it also always gets on my eyelids, which I'm okay with that. Like it's not a big deal, but I feel like this is so controversial. People were expecting Benefit to launch something else because there was so much hype and you know, Benefit took all of these girls and, and guys on a trip and it was just like so much hype, so much hype and then it was in the mascara I wasn't really expecting anything like I was just like anything is game right now because you know brands have to get more and more creative when it comes to their launches so I wasn't really disappointed that it was a mascara because I like mascara but it depends on what you want in a mascara it also depends on your lashes everyone's lashes are different so it depends if you have curly lashes if you have straight lashes if you have short ones for me it does lengthen them for lashes I'm gonna be using these from the glam box I love the packaging so much I love the owner of these lashes she's so sweet so these are Astoria they all have New York based names so this one is Bushwick like there was Dumbo Dumbo was the one that I wore in another video so these are Astoria and I also love that she includes a crystal inside because she's into crystals and she's such a sweetheart I just hope you all support her I mean just the box alone but the lashes are also amazing they are those like furry kind of lashes like that lily lash kind of style the packaging is so cute it says keep your heels high aura strong and lashes long and a little I think this is rose quartz little rose quartz stone inside there which I love that like I'm all about woman empowerment and she's all about woman empowerment and I can't say enough good things about this brand so I'm gonna to pop these on and then we will go from there I completely forgot that I haven't set my face yet and so when I was doing my makeup and I was touching my face it's like sticky and I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it up but so far so good it's looking better actually but I really feel like I need some definition to my face so let's put these lashes on and we'll continue from there so my lashes are on and I'm going to set my face with the Sephora pressed powder in medium and honestly, my face doesn't even look like it needs to be set, but I just know myself and I just, I have to set my face. I'm not applying too much of this and this is pretty lightweight and it's non-drying, so it's not going to like alter the foundation. It doesn't even have that much coverage, it's really just, for me, like a setting powder. For a bronzer, I do have a new bronzer to try. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I bought the shade Saddle because it looked like the warmest shade, but in person, it's actually looking a little bit cooler i guess than what i normally use like this is give me sun mine is beat up <laughs> very used but it's a little bit cooler and like darker i would say but let's just try it out it is a pretty big pen so not too much kickback it all pretty much went on my brush okay so let's give this a try so the color is really nice for like a contour it is blending out really nicely but you can see it just gives me so much more definition as opposed to here. And I'm using this Charlotte Silberry brush, which is the cheek brush, which I love so much. To warm this up a little bit, I'm just gonna apply Give Me Sun right on top, just a little bit. So that really bronzed me up. 
in a way that I'm not used to seeing it. But I, I'm kind of liking it. I don't know. Do you guys like it? Does it look muddy? Does it look too much? I don't know. We'll have to see once the rest of the face is kind of done. I'll probably have to buff it out a little bit more. I'm going to apply this blush from Jouer. This is the Adore Blush Duo in Adore Me and Hold Me. And I'm going to use the shade Hold Me. That's really pretty and soft. I like these kind of neutral peachy pink colors because they go with every look. It didn't add too much color, but it just it gave me enough. I'm going to contour my nose with the Anastasia bronzer, which I'm scared of because it's so pigmented. So I'm gonna use like the teeniest amount. Wow, that's super pigmented. I barely tapped that bronzer and it's giving me so much treatment, which is good because it'll last you a really long time. I'm just gonna spray my face with some Morphe prep and set before I move on to my highlight. So now we're going to highlight, and I'm so excited for this. This is, again, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Am Resi Highlight. It's just one shade, and it says it's an illuminating powder with an ultra-smooth formula and radiant finish. Oh, and there's a little note from her. It says, I live for the perfect glow. It's a constant focus in my makeup routine. I'm always looking for the most luminous glow with a natural second skin finish. This collaboration with ABH brings my highlighter dreams to life, and I'm so happy to share this sun in a compact with my Resi Riders. That was really cute to put it actually like on the package and not just like on the box. So this is what it looks like, and it reminds me of the Estee Lauder heat wave Ooh, it's so smooth and no kickback which is what she wanted it's like a gel like finish oh my god i'm so excited for this wow blinding or not and on the other side i'm going to use a sephora brush i'm actually going to try this sigma brush the strobing fan brush yeah i feel like i like this brush the best with this highlight oh my god let's just go out that is a highlight okay okay for my lips i'm going to line them with mac oak And for my lips, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Respect. Like, put some respect on it. It's really light. It's like a really light nude. Okay, so that's really light. So let me reline my lips and we're going to apply some gloss because this looks kind of crazy. Okay, that's just a little too light, so I'm just gonna put Too Faced Sunday Fun Day right on top because I like light lips, but girl, I'm like, is that a lipstick? I mean, granted, that will look, this smells really good, that will look really pretty like in the middle of another lip, but alone, it was just a lot. I'm gonna apply the I Love Sarai ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Atole right on top. I'm going to bake the sides of my nose with the RCMA No Color Powder to really snatch the schnauzer. And I'm just going to add a little bit more definition to the brows. So I feel like if I do my brows first and then my foundation right after, sometimes my brows kind of disappear a little bit on the ends. I'm just going to redefine these bad boys with the Benefit Pencil in number 5. A little trick that I like to do is take the bronzer that I'm using for that day and put that into my crease just to tie the whole look a little better. I'm applying this also right underneath my eye. I like winging my eyeshadow out this way. I'm going to apply Laura Lash Mascara, which, of course, MAC Extended Play. Only mascara that I use on my lower lashes. The Benefit one, I did use it on my lower lashes, and it does transfer on me. So I can't use that down there, which is really no surprise. Like, literally every single mascara, except this one and the Kevin Aquan, transfers on my skin. 
I'm gonna wipe this bake away. And a little bit more setting spray. I kind of want to apply a little bit of this Hourglass Vanish Champagne Flash um, Stick Illuminator. I'm going to try this in my inner corners. I like that. It almost feels wet. Okay, next time I'll try this out more on its own so this is the final look i'm loving everything okay let me just say like i feel bomb like i love just having this kind of neutral glam makeup it just makes me feel so good like not too much but it's still glam so i love these lashes i feel like they made such a huge difference this lip combo i know i did like a million layers but the end result i'm obsessed with i think it really was the lip gloss that i used last the i love sarai atole lip gloss from ColourPop. i feel like that really gave it that beautiful shine and also the Too Faced lipstick was really pretty. The Laura Mercier one was nice. I just think it was really light. But it worked out. The Smashbox eyeshadows are really nice. Like I feel like they turned a little bit more peachy. The colors on my eyes in person. But I really like that brown shadow um, wet. As like a liner situation. So it doesn't irritate my eyes. The foundation looks so good. This NARS foundation. If you're not allergic or you're not like sensitive to NARS foundations. You have to go get this. Because... I feel so smooth. My skin today looks really healthy and I'm really loving this and I'm praying to the skin gods that it doesn't break me out because if it doesn't, this is like my new favorite. I haven't contoured with like a cool colored, cool toned contour bronzer in a while and I feel like it really brings definition to my face. I have so much foundation on my hairline. We're just gonna ignore that. But I really feel like this kind of bronzer really brings out my cheekbones and I really like that. I just With this one, it's so pigmented so you wanna be really careful and really light with this but this shade saddle is like I think I'm gonna just continue to use this because I feel really chiseled but not too much like it's not too cool but you could always use like a warm bronzer right on top the highlight I mean do I need to say anything about this highlight I do prefer this highlight though with the Sigma fan brush I feel like with the Anastasia brush it was just kind of accentuating my texture a little bit more and looking a little bit more dry like on this side where this side just looked a lot more smooth I've seen this highlight like circulating through my Instagram and I've seen so many different people with so many different skin tones wear this highlight so don't be intimidated by the color i know it looks like a really light gold but i've seen so many different people wear it so and rock it so that makes me really excited and happy even though it looks really scary and light like how could that be universal something about it i guess because it's like a champagne gold it works so i'm really loving this i'm not mad at all like i purchased those two on my own the Too faced lipstick was really pretty the lip gloss was really pretty and everything else the jouet blush was nice it's not super pigmented it's just like a nice soft wash of color which I like I'm not mad at it but if you're looking for a super pigmented blush it's not gonna be it but I feel like you can build it but I didn't I just wanted like a little bit of some color on my cheeks sorry I've been gone I'm back I'm not going anywhere I just needed a little break and I was away and then everything just kind of happened last minute you're gonna see in the vlog like I was just a hot scrambled mess because I literally found out I was going to DR like three days before I went so yeah I didn't pre-film or anything because it was just it's a lot so I'm back and let me know what other kind of videos you would like me to do I really want to do the hacks video like 10 hacks or maybe like five hacks every woman should know or everyone should know um, beauty related of course I really want to do that double check triple check if you're subscribed check if your homegirls are subscribed your boyfriend your husband everyone is subscribed to my channel a lot of you always tell me like why doesn't your channel grow like why is your number stuck but I need your support I need you guys to share me on Instagram share me on Facebook tell your friends about me make sure you're subscribed and you're not just watching without subscribing because it does matter and with YouTube being so crazy like people are being unsubscribed from other people's channels without them even knowing it so just please do me that favor double check and also also put the little bell I know everyone says that but honestly YouTube plays us and it doesn't let everyone know that we've uploaded a video it lets some people know but not everyone so follow me on Instagram Twitter I don't even know if people are using snapchat anymore let me know your thoughts on that do you still want me to snap because I feel like it's like a ghost town in there I'm like hello is anybody out there sometimes I get a lot of views on snapchat sometimes I don't so I just feel like it depends but let me know your thoughts on social media and like what's going on like are you kind of just detached from it like are you not into it anymore let your girl know because I would love to know I want to talk about this with you guys because this is something really important for us youtubers because this is our job so I would love to have that open conversation with you so that concludes this video thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys